Hello, welcome to That's How We Do. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Whirlwind C4 e-bike and we're going to be looking at replacing the control box. Let's change the control box. Okay, this little silver box has all the cables in it which control the bike and they go in the rear section of the bike where uh, this section is here. So what we're going to do is we are going to replace one control box with another. I'm just going to uh, fold these uh, pedals just to get them out of the way for me so I can uh, easily have access to the bike when I fold it. I'm going to loosen the clip and the safety and I'm going to fold the bike in half. Great. Now let's just get this bike into a comfortable position. You know, you really want to try and be as comfortable as you can when you're uh, changing anything on this bike just so it makes it easier for yourself. So you see, I mean, I'm just adjusting the wheel, moving the pedal a little bit just to make it so it's easier for me to access. And we're going to change the plate right here on top. And the control box, as you see right here, has a lot of cables hanging out of it. So look, quite a few cables for us to change. So we're going to take our screw and screw off the plate for where the control box is. Take off the one screw there. And the second screw, once again, this is a Phillips screwdriver. And we just lift up the plate. As we lift up the plate, you see there's a lot of cables in there. Uh, it can look quite worrying if you're not used to seeing cables, but we'll work through this uh, very simply for you. So there's a lot of cables here, and this is the control box. The method which I'm going to use for changing the control box over is I'm just going to do a one-for-one -one swap on each of the cables. Uh, the reason I do this is just to make it easier so we don't plug anything in the wrong place. Uh, so I'm going to take these colour-coded cables first and just pull them out one by one. You see me taking the uh, yellow cable there. There we go, just uh, sticking them right in. There we go. And when you actually close the cable, when you push it together, just make sure it clicks into place so it's secure. Okay. And now you see me taking the green and we just put the green one in there as well. So you just make sure the cable colors are matching. And again, you push it in and you wait until it clicks into place and it's nice and secure. Okay. Now we take the third one. Okay, and once again, we clip the cable directly into place. Done. Okay, so that's the first part of changing the control box. Now we've got quite a few other cables here which are connected. Now you can go through any order you want to do, but for the purpose of me doing this, I'm just going to try and take this big one off right here. You see me struggling a little bit and there's a little clip which I need to clip just to make sure it pulls out. So make sure you, you, you unclip the clip and just pull it out. It makes it easier for yourself. And then you'll find the matching correct section on the new control box and we clip it in like there. Okay, so it's not too bad. We've got four cables done right now. So now you see there's a few more cables here which need adjusting. Now, if you look closely at these cables, you'll see that there's numbers on each of the cables on the little tags. This makes it so you know what cable connects to which cable. So if you've got number four and number four, it makes sense you connect number four to number four. Don't try connecting number four to number six, otherwise the controller box isn't going to work. All the cables are color coded, so it is straightforward for you to look at the cables and see but they put numbers on the cables as well just so you can make sure so as you go through this process of disconnecting one cable from the control box from the original one replace it with the second one make sure the color of the cables match up make sure the numbers on the cables match up and you'll be absolutely fine in completing this task of replacing the control box so we're almost there now just a few more cables to go. There we go. I'm just working my way through the cables one by one and connecting them in their correct places. I'm down to the last one right here. 
so we're just going to disconnect this last one and then we have the control box fully in place there we go just stick that one in there done super so that's the control box in place now old one replaced with the new perfect we still need to take off the uh, plate which is connected to the here so we just disconnect this section this section can sometimes be a little bit tough but just give it some strength and pull it apart okay and then we reconnect the plate to the new control box there we go just like that all the cables are done so now we need to put the control box all the way back down there's a lot of cables here so we have to be careful when we're putting the cables in and what we, we see what we do i push the cables out the side and we push the control box all the way down right into this section okay if we push the cables the control box all the way down it makes it easier to then just gently push in the other cables afterwards okay if you don't push the control box all the way down you're gonna have a lot of difficulty getting the plate back on so just gently push everything down and if you find anything sticking out a little bit you can always just take the plate back up and just readjust but and gently push the cables you don't want any of the connections coming off once that's done we put the plate back on we put the screws back into position and we screw them in there we go so we screw the top screw in the plate you know you've got to be careful make sure the plate is around the right way the grooves are there so it should be relatively straightforward for you to see but just to put the plate back in and then screw the bottom one in as well there we go done 